Hello, trumpet and cornet players. Mr. Fitz with my trumpet in my basement. Trumpets and cornets rock. Or trumpet and cornet rocks. Okay, line number 92. Here we go. I'll play it and then we'll talk about it. One, two, three, four. So your goal is to be able to play it along with me by the end of your practice week. All right. Now, uh, this song is called Look Sharp. And for everybody except trombones and flutes, you can see why. Because in the right away on the second note, they give you a sharp sign. Yes. And that's the note that they introduce at the beginning of this line. For flutes and trombones they should and baritone horns, they should really call it, and tubas, they should call it look natural. <laughs> okay, because you can see they, they don't have the E flat, but they go about that by not putting it in the key signature, all right? All right, so that's one aspect, right? So you want to make sure that you do the correct fingering trumpets, second valve for F sharp. It's a thing, when you have a sharp placed before a note, it actually changes it to a different note, all right? So here's an F. Oof. And here's an F sharp. Okay? And you should do that yourself too. You can hear a difference there. They're close, but it's a totally different note because it's a half a step higher. All right. Now, uh, the way they tell you they want that sharp is there's two ways. One is by giving you what they call an accidental, which is when they give you a sharp or a flat or a natural that occurs within the measure. All right. So that's that's what they're doing here. When they give you a sharp within the measure, it's good for the rest of the measure for any of that note that shows up again. So you can see it also says, also play it F sharp further ahead. All right. Okay. Now, when you practice any song, uh, I want you to break it down and do a five part, well, either four or five part uh, process. Here's what I mean. First thing that you want to do is, you know, take two measures of it and say the rhythm and tap your foot. So let's do that together for the first two measures. One, two, three, four. Ta 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 ta. And here's the foot cam. There's my foot. One, two, three, four. Ta 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 ta. All right. So that's what you want to do. You want to make sure you get that going first. Okay. Then the next step would be to play it on one note. So you're going to do the exact same thing. So I think I'll just play this on a G on my trumpet. One, two, three, four. Okay, and you want to be sure that you're tapping your foot and doing that steady beat with your foot while you say while you play it with, on the one note. Next step is to name those notes and to push the fingers. All right. So now, if you don't know the fingering or the notes here, I want you to pause the video and look them up. All right. Okay, so then here we go. So you should have figured out that it goes G, F sharp, E, D, G, D. All right, now you notice how I said that? I tapped my foot and I did my fingerings. That's what you want to be able to do. All right, then the fourth step is to actually play the notes as they're written. One, two, three, four. I forgot to mention with tapping your foot you want to play the notes all right so that's the process and please do that you know and break it down that way so that you're accurate you want to be very accurate now if there happen to be slurs in a song that would be a fifth step that we'd add in last so we'll talk about on the next 193 all right have fun